बिसमीम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिज़िक्स डिपार्टमेंट चाँदबाग स्कूल दिस इज़ लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द पास पेपर्स प्रैक्टिस एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स एंड इट स्टेट्स अ स्टिफ स्ट्रेट कॉपर वायर एक्स वाई इज हेल्ड फिक्स इन यूनिफॉर्म मैगनेटिक फील्ड of flux density 2.6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 tesla as shown in figure 6.1 this has been illustrated in this figure that this wire is inclined at an angle of 34 degree and it is placed in a, a magnetic field of flux density 2.6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 tesla and the length of the wire is 4.7 cm it further says the wire xy has length 4.7 cm and makes an angle of 34 degree with the magnetic field part a calculate the force on the wire due to a, due to a constant current of 5.4 ampere in the wire students in order to calculate the force on the wire you need to use the formula f is equal to bil sin theta you know that this formula is going to be used because this is a current carrying conductor current carrying wire which has been placed in this magnetic field and when this current carrying conductor is placed in an external magnetic field a magnetic force is generated and this can be calculated by using the formula f is equal to bil sin theta and we have been given all the values we have been given the values of b i l and theta as well b is 2.6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 i is 5.4 multiplied by length is given in centimeter and it needs to be converted into meter so we multiply 4.7 with 10 raised to the power minus 2 and then uh, its multiplication with sin 34 and after applying this formula and uh, correct values we will get the answer 3.69 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 newton basically we have to use formula f is equal to bil sin theta to solve this question this part part b states the current in the wire is now changed to an alternating current of rms current of uh, to an alternating current of rms value 1.7 ampere uh, it further states determine the total variation in the force on the wire due to the alternating current uh, boys first of all we need to convert the rms value into p current we know that the rms value of current is equal to i not under root divided by under root 2 we know that the formula for i rms is equal to i not divided by under root 2 and uh, we will find out the value of uh, p current and to find out the value of p current we will use the relationship i rms multiplied by under root 2 in order to uh, get the p current we will multiply 1.7 uh, 1.7 with under root 2 and the value of p current which we get in this part that is 2.4 ampere and this is the p current and at this p current there will be the maximum force on the wire so again to calculate the force we will use the equation f is equal to bil sin theta all the values will be the same as used and the previous part except for the current current is going to be 2.4 ampere and we get the value of maximum force that is 1.64 into 10 raised to power minus 4 newton students but we have to determine the total variation in the force on the wire due to the alternating current so we are going to multiply maximum force with the 2 and the variation is going to be 3.3 into 10 raised to power minus 4 newton Uh, we have uh, multiplied the answer 1.64 into 10 raised to power minus 4 with 2 because it is the alternating current and as there is a positive half cycle and there is a negative half cycle so we multiply maximum force with 2 in order to determine the variation in the force that is why we are multiplying the answer 1.64 into 10 raised to power minus 4 with 2 i hope it is clear to you if you still have any problem you can contact me on whatsapp uh thank you stay safe and protected